I was 14 when I was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukaemia. When I was told by the doctor, this is what's come up in your blood results, I just instantly burst into tears. At that point then, they turned around and said, you need a transplant. There was no, oh, you've got cancer, and then being told weeks, months later, it was there and then. We all live in a bubble, but unfortunately, my bubble burst, and you think, God, this is my son. Am I going to lose him? How would I cope? They took me up to the teenage cancer ward. It wasn't very nice seeing other cancer patients, knowing that I was really poorly and that I was possibly dying. I've got too many people that I love. There's too much in my life to actually give up. We can give you all the medication, but ultimately that is only 50%. The other 50% goes on in your head. You don't particularly feel feminine. And then there's the whole issue with lack of fertility that again just kind of like adds to all, I suppose, traditionally identified as being a woman. I think something that the disease definitely takes away is your ability to actually feel as though you can be of use. I never thought they would find a match. Probably about three weeks away from my transplant now. My donor's having a vacation and when she gets back from her holiday they'll be harvesting her stem cells. So it's quite an exciting time. But it was almost sort of curtains drawn, I was told, and he left. And I remember both me and Kaz looked at each other thinking, did he just say what I thought he said? Oh, she's looking after herself and wearing a seatbelt every time she gets in a car and looking both ways when she's crossing the road. I always had a fear that something would stop that bag getting to me, but to see it walk through the door in someone's hands, it was just a big relief. I thought it was going to come like a bag of blood, but it's more pinkier. <laughs> I knew from that point that, OK, it's down to me now. If I go down, I'll go down fighting, but at least I'm going to get a chance at it. Bit of blind faith. <laughs> and know that everything will work out OK. I would describe myself as being three years post bone marrow transplant. The feeling is absolutely amazing, a miracle. Why does anyone bother to go through the transplant process? They want to have something to live for. They want to have memories. They want to have experiences in life. But experiences don't mean anything unless they're with your loved ones. He was a baby. He was my baby when he was diagnosed. But now he's a young boy. That's brilliant. I've lived it. I've done it. I'm not getting anything out of it by looking back. And the person I am today is the one that's going forward. Illness will always be part of my life, but it's not my life. 